Hi, what's up, guys? My name is Hussein, and welcome to Hussein's Drama. I'm your Chinese friend. 我是你们的中国好朋友 As you can see, I'm a Chinese content creator living in Shanghai. On February the twenty second, twenty eighteen, which is the same day of today in the last year, I uploaded my first video. On Bilibili, a Chinese video platform, a kind of like the Chinese version of YouTube, talking about my first, first, first vlogging camera, the Sony RX100 Mark V. The video、uh, from today's perspective, I think it's not so good. It's it's totally not good. Then I watched tons of videos of Peter McGinnis and the Madi Hapoya. I think、uh, I I wish I pronounced it right. I watched tons of videos of you guys, your vlogs, your tutorials, and your short documentaries. Really helps me a lot on my filmmaking career. I also practiced a lot last year. Trying to follow the steps of you guys, dear Peter Maddy, if you are watching this video right now,、uh, I really wanted to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being a part of my life, for being a teacher of my filmmaking career. You know, in China there is an old saying says, if you are being a student of someone for one day, you should treat him like your father in the rest of your lifetime. In the past year, I've made. 147 videos on Billy Billy and have got more than 100,000 subscribers on that platform.、Uh, I also uploaded some of them on YouTube. But you know,、uh, in most of my videos, I was talking in Mandarin. Even one fifth of the population on this planet speaks Mandarin, speaks in Chinese. But that is not the case on YouTube.、Uh, here, the whole country. Is blocked from those social medias like YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and、uh, Facebook. Yeah, that that's a reality here in China. Then I realized I must make a change this year. I want the world to know more about China, know more about Chinese people. How do we think? What do we eat? Do most of Chinese people drink Chinese tea every day, or actually most of us drinks coffee more than Chinese tea? So if you Uh, curious about this kind of question, or you are interested in this kind of topics? Please leave a comment below to tell me what you want to know about China and the Chinese people. And definitely, I will make a lot of videos on those topics you guys are curious about. I think YouTube is a big community. Meanwhile, a very nice and friendly community to those great content creators from all over the world. I saw a lot of great creators collaborating with each other. Making exciting films from country to country, sometimes in Europe, sometimes in America, and sometimes in Asia. I really hope you guys, some great creators, can come to China and make some exciting films with me. I really interested in joining this game this year. Last year, in one of my vlogs, I made a wish. 我希望我 Hussein 可以在二零一九年的时候和 Peter McGinnis. In that vlog, I said one of my dreams of 2019 is to shoot a vlog with Peter McGinnis.、Uh, I, I know what you want to say. My channel is so small. I think small is not the exact word which can describe my channel's scale, my channel size. I think tiny may be a better word. But last year, Peter said, "You see, a lot of people get into this for the wrong reasons, or once they're in it, they use the wrong tool to evaluate their." Success, and that is the numbers. Yes, the more numbers that you accrue with Instagram and subscribers on YouTube and Twitch and Twitter and Facebook and all of that, more numbers mean the more likely you are able to make a career out of this. But in no way, in absolutely no question, no way, it does not mean that you are any less than anybody that has higher subscribers, higher follower counts, anything like that. Than you, I have 2.2 million subscribers here on YouTube. I have a, a larger pedestal to reach a larger audience. That does not mean that I, as a person, as a creator, as an artist, am any better than you. If let's say you have 500 subscribers, then I think why not to have a dream like this? Why not to make a wish like this? It is always good to have a dream than have nothing at all, right? Therefore, I decided to make this video. And I am also planning to make at least two English videos every single week until I can meet Peter or Maddie 
from face to face. And last, I wanted to thank YouTube for offering us this amazing job called YouTuber. I think from today, I can finally call myself a YouTube vlogger and a Chinese YouTuber. Okay, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace. Bye bye. 再见。